Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I have another uh, ECM repair. This time working in a 2004 uh, Duramax LLY FICOM. Uh, this is sent to me by Brian from Indiana. Uh, he said, uh, truck died, no communication with FICOM. The fuse did not blow up. Um, he tried another FICOM, the Southern run, and then the fuse blow. I'm not sure if I'm reading it right or not. Um, well, he sent it. Uh, the first thing that I noticed is uh, a little bit of a water intrusion on the board, and I already cleaned that because, well, obvious reasons I cannot really leave it because otherwise uh, all my tests will be bad. So I put them on the ultrasound cleaner and clean it uh, with alcohol to try to remove and dry it up all the corrosion. Uh, it was light corrosion, nothing too heavy. And uh, this is for Brian to see that this is his. I got the board again completely out of the casing. Let me remove this lead one second from here. I was doing some tests just before repairs. I can still show you because I'm not sure if it's going to be easy to see or not in the um, in the camera, but uh, I still have a little bit of a white haze. I still got to do another cleanup. I'm just right now do a preliminary test to make sure that the actual fecum can be repaired before I go into spend too much time, right? Uh, I don't see uh, nothing exploded or burned, which is very common on these fecums when they get shorted. Um, this fecum provides the ground for the injectors. Let me take you over to the diagram. I have the wire diagrams and pinouts. Uh, the way the uh, fecum talks to the computer, I have actually the internal CAN bus. This is an old style. Is um, uh, let me just see if I have it here. Yeah, SJ939. So this is actually an internal bus. So this is something that if you ever have a problem with communication, because the computer can talk to the scanner, the the computer is the one that has to talk to the FICOM transmission control module and glow plug controller depends on the setup you have, which I think Brian has all of them in place, right? So if you by any chance are missing communication, I will recommend to check pins 90 and 91 on the connector too, which is the small one. Um, these FICOMs, they got the numbers on the pins on the other side, so you will be able to see all the pin numbers and everything. Make sure that you have a good uh, wiring integrity, and then um, we check the board here. It's not very common for the communication to uh, get damaged unless again is a is a big chore and it creates a hole explode capacitors and so on which is not the case yet on the, on this one um, I am uh, seeing this one as more as a water intrusion and obviously down leaking capacitors that needs to be replaced uh, we'll see how this test out all right so uh, injector diagram this is what we see so we have at the top the engine computer in at the bottom. Oh no, let me just, yeah, no, fuel injection controller. So the engine computer is on the top. So the engine computer will send a signal as far as, uh, and also the engine a speed signal to the FICOM. Uh, it will send a control signal on pins uh, 44, 45, 46. So let me just read that right. 44, 45, 47, 63, 64, 67 and um 94 no 94 is the rpm but you can you can read it in there and then it will control the injectors uh on these um pins and here so i'm just going to keep the i think it's just probably better and start to be me reading anything but as you can see so the FICOM supplies the power so it has two power feed for a bank of injectors so we have injector one four six and seven on one bank and then two three uh five and eight on the other power feed right that's not the firing order but that's just the way they have it in as far as the way uh, the FICOM supplies the power and then it controls it has each control has a pin um, the reason we see two pins in here and one pin in here, right? This is only on these two injectors and six and seven is because these are small pins and these are bigger pins. So that's just the way the manufacturer did it to use or utilize the connector, right? But yeah, everything is controlled by the FICOM. Communication again is established in between the FICOM and the computer on, uh, on that bus. 
All right, so I got the um, curve tracer connected. Well, I did have it before, so let me make sure I connect my ground in here. I use this spot in here just because it's very convenient for me. All right, so I'm going to do an automated test. Let me uh, <clears throat> start over again. All right, so I'm going to just follow my test. It will give me a red or green if we have everything good. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm already starting to see a difference. You see that red color around? That means it's, it's, it's a difference, and we already have that in here. So I'm going to go over to the next one. So we have definitely a problem in here. All right, I'm going to go to the next uh, test. This is, as you see now, the, the green, that means that part is good. When it has a green, it follow the next one. Let's see. All right, so yeah, definitely we have a ground path situation in here, and that is most likely corrosion or um, capacitors leaking, sorry, capacitors leaking in here. So let me just keep going. I'm actually going to jump a little bit ahead. Uh, well, let's check this, the first one. Yeah, as I, you see, we have the same situation in here. So yeah, the, the uh, FICOM is shorted. So this is definitely a problem. All right, let me just move a little forward into my testing. Uh, let me just go up to the actual controller because if we have a short end controller, that's this, this is where it gets a little more expensive and I explained this to Brian. If I see a bad signal in here, it's nothing I can do. The controller will need to be replaced and that's not a problem. I have it here. So let me just uh, find myself with the uh, microscope. All right, so let me touch in here. And yes, I mean, immediately you see it. So that is, it's also shorted. All right, so we got a huge difference in here, Brian. Um, definitely, um, it's not a problem. I can repair it. So I'm going to contact Brian, request his approval, which I always do and then go from there all right guys so this is again the preliminary test that i do very quickly on these thickums i got all parts in stock and um let's see how it goes i will definitely assume and i'm going to tell brian this is a clean it's still good looking thickum that can be repaired they're really expensive so might as well you just go ahead and do it but i mean it's not my decision all right guys so let me stop the video and contact brian and i'll be right back all right, guys, I spoke to Brian and he approved the repair, so all good. Uh, I just finished. Um, I did found, you know, one of the capacitors, one of the big capacitors shorter under it. Let me see if I have that picture already here. Give me one, one second. Uh, I'm still on my email. Give me one second. Okay, I got it. Let me just transfer over to the folder. I like to always keep everything nice and organized. Uh, Ryan right here and all right. Give me just one second. Sorry guys that I started with this weird mumbling, but um, so, yep. All right, so that is his board. And then we can see how that capacitor had leaked out and then shorted this path right here, which it was going exactly over to the um driver or pre-driver for uh the injectors and um and that is a it is a smart device that needs to be replaced and when something like this happens and that creates a, a little bit more uh intrusive or expensive repair but it is done he approved everything is done and now we're going to do the test okay so we got the same thing i got the um curb tracer ready to go all right, so I'm going to just follow the test and I want you to see the results in there. So I'm just going to touch in here and we want to make sure I'm in the grid making connection. I like that green. Remember that was not there. So, all right, so that pass, I'm going to go over to the next point. That pass, next point, this is going to have to be loaded and that is because it's part of those heavy capacitors. So I just got to load it one time and then uh, do it again and now we got the green and uh, i want you to see that now we got the green marks uh, give me one one second 
All right, follow along. So far, everything very good. So I'm going to keep going with the tossing in, in the pour. And I just want you to follow. That is, again, another green. Now the signals are nice and correct. Again, that's another one that needs to be charged because it's part of the capacitor circuit. So I got to charge it and then release it and then touch it again. And then we can see how it goes to green. So that is perfect. All right, the next one, same thing. Uh, perfect. All right, so there's another, it has to be loaded. And we can see the image how it followed it now is, is green. All right, let me just see what I need to do. When I need to go, that is a perfect image. Excellent. Excellent. Again, another one that needs to be loaded. Once again, perfect. Perfect. Again, I'm just following along. I'm just going to show you where I am right now. And again, a green result. All right, so. Yeah, following the same uh, results. Uh, give me just one second because I don't have my glasses on me. Another one that needs to be loaded. And that is going to be second time. Green, perfect. All right, I got to see where I need to be. Is it right here? I need another one loaded. Now it's green. All right, so. Now I'm going into the last four in here, and we got immediately a green. Going over to the other side, immediately a green. That is an excellent result. And this is perfect. All right, so uh, one, two, three. Okay, so that will be injector seven. Perfect. 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 Oop, I jump to one. This one. Perfect. I mean, injector six. Perfect. Excellent. With regard, sometimes, I, like I said, I don't have my glasses in there, but we can see now all that side, and hopefully you can see, I mean, it's in green and green, but they're right there right here all that section is is green now i'm going over to here but i know that all of them are now good i put all drivers and this is one thing that i do i always replace the drivers uh pre-driver um everything so this is a complete complete repair uh remember this was not passing now it's green again this has to be loaded Once again, pass. And I want you to follow, you know, you can follow this X in here at the same time that you see the result with the green on the outside. That is no doubt about it. Everything is going to pass because I know that this is now 100% repair. You just give me one second. I'm trying to touch in there. Perfect. All right, so. Again, those needs to be loaded. And I touch once again, and then it pass. Again, just because of the capacitors. I got a few companies trying to. Can you send me this folder where you test your capacitor? You know, your your fixing some like wow, unbelievable. They're the competition and they're trying to send me the folder just so that they can do what I do. I'm like, dude, come on, that's so funny, so funny question. All right, so that is a pass. I mean, do your database. I am working, I am showing my customers that I can do it, and I am also helping you understand how the test needs to be done, but you want me to send you my database? Wow. You want me to send you a clown list? <laughs> right? Uh, some people are funny. I just need to, you know, load it again one more time. And now it's in green, right? Oh, come on. I am... Losing the connection, just talking and doing too many things at the same time. And now, come on. Gonna have to put my glass right there. Perfect. Okay, we got it. Once again, load it. And perfectly green. All right, so 
going to try to do this a little faster. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. I got to hold this. As you know, this is a very tiny needle that I'm moving in here. I'm going to follow now with you guys in here. You're going to see the green results and all. That's what I'm doing sometimes without my glasses. I just miss the point that I'm checking, and that's why the signal, you know, goes off. But now because you see, like right there, you know, I have to just hold it a little steady. But now we can see again, and all those, all those green dots. So everything is passing 100%. Now I'm just going to do three of those on the uh, driver, I mean the pre-driver. Okay, so one here. It's passing 100%, so let me just show you right there the pass. And now we got a green dot in there. That was a red dot before. All right, uh, Brian, this is 800%. Okay, I'm going to just keep you guys in there. I'm gonna need the microscope because I'm going to do this a little faster. Yep, everything is passing good. Passing good. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Test completed. All right, guys. Uh, and Brian, test completed with 100% success before we couldn't. And this is, you know, how I test my thickens. If I need to do anything else that I need, uh, or depends on what the damage is, I will show. But this is as much as I always show in my testing. I do perform other tests that I don't want to share because obvious reason competition is trying to pick up my brain and that's not what I'm here for. I will help you a little bit, but I want to give you all the magic, right? All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for visiting the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.